Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today, I want to do a chit chat, get ready with me. And I want to do a very natural look, but in no way is it like, oh, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a brow and lash and that's it. I mean, I'm still gonna do like a full face of makeup and do the works, it's just gonna look natural. <laughs> Let's get the hair out of the face. Yeah, I did my hair, guys, finally. I went the summer without it, but it's fall here in Vancouver, which means it's gonna be raining for several, several, several months until it's summer again. So I couldn't do the whole straight ironed hair. It's just, it would not fly. <laughs> I'm just going with a little bit of Milani Prime Light Primer. I have this in my collection. I can't remember if I like it or not, so I'm just gonna use it. But that's the last time I used it. I didn't like it, so let's just try again. Now that it's like starting to get colder out, it's like all of the moisture is getting sucked from my face. I want more of a natural finish to the skin today, so I'm going out with the Born This Way foundation and I'm going to mix a couple drops of the e.l.f. Nourishing Facial Oil to it. Mix it on the back of my hand. Oh, shoot. I was going to mix a little bit of the um, e.l.f. Adjusting Tone Primer to it just because it's a little red. I want to get a little more yellow, so oops. I'm just gonna mix it in right now. Oh my god, now it looks like a mustard yellow. Mm. I'm just dot some in between all of that. But yeah, guys, I went and I got my hair done. Um, uh, I feel like the light is constantly changing. See, it's lighter now. Okay. And it takes, well, this took me four hours, I think. It's kind of like 3 3 30, I left 7 30. But I just watch shows and stuff. I feel like if there was no internet, I'd be, I'd be so bored. I did get some extensions because my hair is not this long. But I did not pick up the one that I wanted. And I know for next time, don't get this one because it did not want to stay. It does not want to stay in braids. It's fighting me. I don't like it. <laughs> I just apply that with the brush and I go over it with my sponge just close. I don't like blending out with a sponge, it just takes so much longer to get it done so quick with the brush and I can just go over it with a sponge and it will still look nice and good. Even mixed with like those hydration drops, I feel like I wish it was like a little more doing just a tad, but I think this will do. It'll do. I'm going go on with some concealer from Makeup Revolution, the Conceal and Define Concealer. Got that under my eyes. A little bit on my nose and a dot on my head. As you guys saw, the vlog, which I'm pretty sure I posted before this. Yes, it's been posted already. I went to Whistler and that was a lot of fun. I had never been to Whistler before. And the only thing is, I didn't really get a lot of, on that vlog. Like, I was with so many people and I didn't know if they wanted to be on camera or not. So I was kind of like nervous to film anything. A little bit more nervous filming things so I didn't get as much on that vlog as I wanted to but I'm hoping that I'll have another opportunity to vlog soon and that way I can get a little more things on it. I still enjoyed that weekend a lot and it was a lot of fun I got to spend it with Dylan and we just had a good time honestly. And that was a few weeks back and then this weekend I went and I hanged out with Clarice and we got a Airbnb and we just chilled and hanged out. We, went, we did a little bit of shopping. We honestly didn't buy that much which is really good for us because usually we buy too much. I'm just powdering my face with the Fit Me powder by Milani. It's a natural powder. It's good for like your normal skin. It's not too mattifying so perfect for this kind of day. And it was so I want and it was really fun to see her. We honestly just hanged out. We got some like collabs filmed, which you guys will see in a little bit. And honestly, yeah, it was just. Well, actually, they might be up before this video. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun filming with her. And we definitely made the most of our weekend. I feel like we were both really tired, but it's okay because then we got to just like chill and hang out and talk, which was very, very nice. 
just filling in wherever it's needed. This one needs a lot more than this one because this one has a nice shape. This one has meh. Do we do anything else? We bought food. And I made dinner one day, so I made fettuccine one day. And then the other day we had burgers. And we were trying to be very um, adventurous. And she got a bison burger and I got a wild boar burger. I cannot remember the place that we got them from. Which is okay because I thought they were okay. But I think she got so as well, so. But it was still kind of fun. <laughs> they taste decently. Decent. <laughs> Mm, okay, these brows are not matching whatsoever. I will say this, filming with Clarice, it definitely inspired me to do some fun things planned for the future. And speaking of plans for the future, I have gotten every single idea down for the month of December. I had a lot of ideas this month and anytime I get them I try to write them down because goldfish memories I'll forget real quick and I happen to have one of those goldfish memories I'm just bronzing with the Milani bronzer a little color to me cheeks with some elf peachy shade right there um but yeah I got all my ideas down for December and this month is almost over the suggestion the month of suggestions month of November and this is actually the last video and this one was um requested by my mom and my aunt my aunt wanted me to do a tutorial where i show really how to make your eyes look very big and my mom wanted a natural tutorial so i'm gonna mix them both together but honestly this month was a lot of fun just like filming all of your guys' suggestions i don't know i really liked it like i always try to include suggestions in my videos but I feel like it turned out really well. I did a lot of fun things that I wouldn't have thought of. So thank you guys for the suggestions because I really appreciate them. I'm just gonna go on with this Stila highlighter in the shade Browns and this e.l.f. tapered highlighting brush. It's a little bit more bigger so it kind of spreads the highlight out more and just makes it more of a sheer wash. I just feel like starting with my face first. I don't know why. I never do my full entire face first and then move on to my eyes, but I'm just itching things up today, I guess. Kind of want to over the cheek highlight as well. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of this ColourPop highlight. I'm just going to dust it very lightly all over the cheeks with a very uh, loose brush. For eyes, I'm just going to take the Born to Run palette. I'm going to mix this shade in Weekender with the shade Rift top of all that excess because there's a lot. I'm just going to take this all over the lid, over the inner corner underneath on the lower lash line just a little bit. I'm just going to use that very light color all over the inner corner of the eye. I'm just going to take a little bit extra of the weekender and just layer that on top because I want it very light. So I'm going a few shades lighter than my own skin tone. But I'm keeping all the shadows matte. I'm gonna go in with a bit of breakaway right here. Just on the very tip of the brush. And put that right on the inner corner. This is more of a satin shade, and I'm just gonna blend it up into the lid into that other lighter color. I know it looks really crazy right now, all these light colors, but when we're done the eye look, it's all gonna come together in a super Right inner corner is going to make a lot more sense. <laughs> then I'm going to dip into the CoverGirl eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take this shade right here. It's kind of like a satiny shade, but definitely isn't too blinding and bold. Oh, every time I open that palette, it's just like a smack in your face of chocolate. <laughs> I'm just going to take that through my crease. I'm going to keep that pretty low, and I'm only going to go about halfway in. Also fill in my V with that shape. And just blend it out a bit. It's not like a very light natural shadow. I'm not gonna go any further past halfway. Just because I wanna focus on the outside and I wanna keep that darkness on the outside and that lightness on the inside and it's gonna help to almost elongate the eyes as we blend it out a bit. I'm not gonna take any of that darker shade on the lower lash line. Just 
because sometimes it can weigh down the eyes a bit. I will, however, take any uh, nude eyeliner and I'm using this sort of like rosy gold nude eyeliner and I'm just going to take that on the lower waterline. If you're a lot fairer, I'd say go on with a white. If you're more my skin tone, I'd say go on with a more nudie cream color or something a few shades lighter than your skin tone but not like a pitch white because it looks a little crazy. This is going to help open up the eyes and almost make them appear bigger. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Rift and a little bit of Baja. I'm going to tap my brush off a lot because I want to keep, again, the lower lash line very light and very open. So I'm just going to take a little bit of those two. I'm only going to do it on the outer half of the eye. Just, just a tad. Too intense. I just want like a very subtle color down there. And I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see exactly what this looks like. So as you can see, I just went really lightly on the outer half. I connected it to the top just a little bit. It helps to bring out the eyes this way. Those light colors on the center help to open up the eyes. That light color on the water line helps to open up the eyes this way. So basically, you're opening your eyes up in every direction to make them look nice and big. <laughs> I'm going to finish off the eyes with some mascara. I'm not going to go for anything that's too dramatic and voluminous. I want something more lengthening because I don't want to weigh down my lashes either and like cast shadows over my eyes. I want to keep everything as light as possible. So I'm just going to go on with my Revlon mascara. It's just like a nice lengthening and separating mascara. It's not chunky at all but as you can see like you can see it how it casts like a little bit of a shadow but if I were to use something super dramatic super volumizing it would like close the eyes even more. If you like putting mascara on your lower lash line that can help open up the eyes too. I am just not a fan of doing it. My lashes are just very light and thin there so it just looks a little crazy when I put mascara on my lower lashes. I'm just gonna finish off his lips and then we will be done. I'm gonna go in with the elf lipstick and blushing brown first. And I'm just gonna top it off with the elf plumping lip gloss in the shade Mocha Twist. And that basically completes our look today. This very natural look, even though it is a full face of makeup and nice bright and open eyes to make them look as big as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. Get ready with me. Oh, let me take my hair down so I can see what it looks like with the hair down too. And if you guys like chit chat, get ready with me, please let me know. Because obviously I do take your suggestions. We had the whole month of November, which was amazing. You guys gave me so many suggestions and I only filmed those for you this month and I had a lot of fun doing it so please leave me some more I love hearing them love filming them for you guys and if you did also like this video please hit that thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when I upload and I will see you guys next time bye